Don't let the devil fool you. Let me explain. Recently, God has been speaking to me, speaking directly to me, and I have been hearing him, understanding his voice, listening to what he's telling me to do, and trying to be obedient within his word. God has been speaking to me in his own way, through his breath, through downloads that I have been getting directly to me, into my brain, without explanation, without explanation. So when I tell you for the first time I went to sleep and I had a weird dream, it was a weird dream. And on the surface, it would look like it was God in this dream. When I say on the surface, that means you have to dig a little bit deeper and you have to question your own discernment so that you can filter through what is happening in your life. And you can begin to realize, is this of God? Is this message from God? Or is this message from the devil? Because listen, the devil can fool you. The devil will show up and he will pretend to be God to distract you from what you're supposed to be doing. So you have to really pay attention to understand that the devil will trick you if you let him. God speaks to all of us in different ways. And sometimes he can speak to us in different ways. So we do have to be mindful that God is not going to just speak to you in one way. He's going to speak to you in multiple ways, but you still have to know if it's him or not. For instance, the way that God has been speaking to me lately has been mostly in one way. And I'm not going to say that I'm stuck on that one way, but when the the avenue in which he's been speaking to me lately has changed, I was able to understand that, no, I don't think this is God speaking to me. So let me explain what happened. So I had a dream. I had a dream. And in this dream, I was presently sleeping in my bed in the exact same spot like it was surreal. Like it was happening at the exact same time. I was laying the exact same way in my bed, in my room. Everything was completely the same, right? Everything was normal. And then a, a cold front came over my home. It was just nothing but snow filled up to my windows covering my house. Like, and in this dream, I, the coldness overtook me. Like my lips were beginning to feel like burning, like it was frostbitten. So my lips were frozen, my fingertips, my toes, everything was beginning to be frozen. And I could not adjust the heat temperature to make it to where my body unthought. So it was kind of painful. Like, why am I freezing to death? So at this point, the freezing is painful. It almost feel burning again, like frostbite, not just cold. I wasn't just cold, I was freezing. It's a difference when your body temperature goes to freezing and it becomes so painful that you can't bear it, like you, you're gonna lose a limb. That's how I felt in the dream and I can feel it in the dream. And I'm like, a fearfulness came over me and then I heard a voice speaking. This voice was, presumed to be God. And the voice said, you know, I can't even remember what it said, but it, it was speaking in a tone that was kind of like, um, oh, like it was kind of loud. And it was like speaking at me and not like speaking with, I didn't hear love or peace or gentleness through that tone. I heard like, you need to do this and you were supposed to do this and do this. And that's another thing. I can't even remember exactly the words that were being said. And when God is speak to, speaking to me, I listen and I can, I can most of the time remember exactly what he said. And so in this way, it was a man's voice. And usually when God speaks to me, it's, it's not a man or a woman's voice. It's usually within my own breath of me just getting a thought or something that God, God is telling me to do. It's never a man's voice. And in this dream, it was a man's voice. And it was telling me all of the things that I'm supposed to do. And you should have done this, like blaming. So in this dream, I'm scared. And I'm like, okay, God, I I'm going to do what you said. I'm going to do what you scared. Like, it's almost like, please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. I'm going to do what you say. I'm going to do what you say. This dream did not feel good. It did not feel good. And when I woke up and I'm like, Hmm. God wouldn't do that to me. God would not do that to me. Not only would he not speak to me like this, but he wouldn't do that to me. He wouldn't hurt me and he wouldn't threaten me. God wouldn't do that. God would not do that. That is not, God would not speak to me in that tone. He would not freeze me in that way. Like 
it just did not feel good. It didn't feel, I didn't feel gentleness. I didn't feel peace. I didn't feel every time that God has spoken to me, it's like a peace comes over you. You're like, oh, now I can breathe. I understand God. I feel good. I feel better about this. But it, after that dream, I did not feel good. And I said, you know what? That wasn't God. That wasn't God at all. That was not God at all. That was the devil trying to deceive me. That was the devil pretending to be God coming into my dream, trying to make me fearful. I hate the term God fearing because we don't do things because we fear God. We do things because we love God and he loves us. I say all that to say that it is time to strengthen your discernment, communicate with God, read the Bible and really understand God's character. And if you've watched my other videos, you know that I am a beginner. I am new to reading the Bible. I haven't read the whole thing yet. So I can't really tell you exactly word for word scripture. I can't tell you every little detail. But what I do know is that now I am understanding the character of God. And you, when you start to speak with God, you know what are some things that he will do and he will not do? What is of God's character and what is of the devil's character? Because they are two separate characteristic traits. God does not want you to fear. God wants you to spread love and peace. He does not want you to be scared and fearful. That fear is the root of everything that creates anxiety and prevents you from doing uh, the love work that you're supposed to do to spread the gospel like fear is not intertwined in that it's peace is what's inter peace is what gives you what you need to do that type of work you can't even do that with fear over you with fear in your heart so god will never place fear in your heart and then put you on an assignment it doesn't work that way he will give you overwhelming peace and joy so that you can go out and spread